What's up? Welcome back to the five minute show. Thanks for the likes, the comments, the subscribers. I really appreciate you guys really be doing the most. So as usual, let's get right into it. My first question for today, within five minutes, talk about your take on the LGBTQ community. Um, I think I've spoken about this in my earlier video. So I'm just going to take it from another perspective. Um, probably a little religious base, do you understand? So I feel that when it comes to the queer community, the people who are most judgmental are the religious people, the people who play the religious card. And they will say things like people who don't identify as straight are um, sinning and they condemn them to hell and you're going to hell and all of those things. I feel it's unnecessary. When it comes to dealing with people, you have to separate their person from their conviction. The issue you have is with the conviction, not the person. And that is why my stand is that when it comes to the queer community, I love all of them. I mean, you have to love everybody, do you understand? But I don't agree with their convictions. I don't have the same opinion as them, do you understand? So that that is what the religious people fail to realize. They bunch people and their convictions together and then condemn them and then judge them and then all of those things see these people are human beings they also deserve love nobody has pointed fingers at you and has decided to beat you or discriminate against you because of some sin you are struggling with the fact that nobody knows about it cries is like a plus for you so you can hide behind that facade of holier than thou and do whatever you want to do but you should understand that these people are human beings they deserve love they are they are just in a place where their convictions don't gel with a majority of the people who believe in stuff whatever it is anyways so <clears throat> like you have to separate people's convictions from their person and love people do you understand the fact that i don't share the same opinion as you doesn't mean i have to be throwing hate comments and doing all sorts of unnecessary things against you do you understand so that is my take just love people they are humans too do you understand these people who are sitting there doing holier than that holier than that i know people who are like who are queer who are way better than some friends that i have who are claiming to be whatever they are claiming to be do you understand so that's my take right to my second question um how do you forget a boy Oh no, sorry. How do I forget a boy I liked who is still close to me and avoid awkwardness? Um, first of all, I think you should come to terms with the fact that you cannot forget him. The sooner you come to terms with that, the better for you. Because if you decide to isolate yourself and cut connections with the person and whatever, it, it, it won't work. Once you have shared a certain level of intimacy with someone, you won't forget the person so it's better for you to come to terms with that first that i am not going to forget this person i appreciate the fact that you are still close to the person like it is very emotionally mature to be able to be out of a relationship with someone and keep a healthy relationship with the person as a friend do you understand so um i feel that it all boils down to maturity and sometimes or in this sense maturity means being able to separate what has been from what is do you understand and it's, it's on both parties the two of you have to agree that okay it has been like this but it is so now and i think another thing that will help to to uh, ease the awkwardness uh, it might be difficult to totally get rid of the awkwardness but another thing that will ease the awkwardness is to actually talk about it right sit down with him or her and say okay so i accept that this and this and this was my fault this is why i panned out this way him or her will agree and say that okay this and this and this is what i didn't do right or whatever it is that happened between the two of you and then come to a consensus and agree that this is the reason why the relationship won't work or didn't work and this is why it is better for us to remain friends and stick to that do you understand uh, you have to come to terms with the fact that yeah, it has passed so there's nothing you can do about it now well you find some people who break up and come back together but i feel that 
what will help you avoid all this cycle of in and out in and out is if you actually talk about it and agree that for this reason this won't work do you understand so that you don't you don't put yourself in a whole lot of emotional roller coasters so um that is all for today i hope you like it um next week will be another interesting week because i have a couple of more questions again thanks for the likes the comments the subscribers i really appreciate so until the next time when the guy with the wires the today is not an afro it's wires uh meet you answering your questions it's goodbye for now <laughs>